they owe me over 120 million dollars based on what would have been what paid have to been. white yeah. counterparts. Yeah. My show was with Fox, the people from Big Bang was with Fox. Mm -hmm. We had 28 million viewers. They had 11 million viewers. Yeah. They were getting damn near $3 million an episode, those white kids. They had no name recognition, no Oscar nominations, none of that. We, these jokers are paying me um, $325,000 an episode. My agents were incentivized to keep my pay low. I asked them about it, about my money. They sent me a check for $666 exactly. How do you negotiate $2 million for, for a white cat? and negotiate 325000 for a black cat that has three times the white cat is getting there. Life. What do you mean life? All the shit I did for the country? What the f*** you talking about? Like, f*** you! Now I will never be your hater, I'm your biggest fan. Just how you planned it Life could put you in a pickle Just make sure it's kosher Lean on me like real women Until you smell the roses What's happening fam? LAR movement still moving Subscribe or die trying You see the thumbnail More importantly you saw the clip Shout out to Terrence Howard I know he's This clip is He was doing some type of acting Because of the wig and, and the suit That's got to be some 70s stuff You know I get it Your pimp name slick back But don't worry about that part So <clears throat> America has a you know, America underpays black people with us for profit. That has always been a thing in every form of capitalism, slavery, nothing, you know, Jim Crow, you know, no, take that back, sharecropping, next to nothing. Jim Crow, you know, people had to unionize, um, stealing people's patents when they were making patents, you know, underpaying them or, or just not paying at all. You get what I'm saying? Uh, when I think of, you know, people on jobs nowadays, they, the, the last hired first five thing has always been there, but also, you know, you making less, um, less money for the same job as somebody who's quote unquote white. So that's a known, that, that's a known thing. You look into, you know, sports, you know, people's salaries are up there all the time and you, you see it all the time where. A white player gets paid more than a black player. They make a bunch of excuses. And a lot of y'all go, that's not true. They don't get paid. Yes, they do. Because what happens with the white player is what? Either they overpay him big and he falls off the map normally. Some of them, some of them stay consistently good or great. That, that does happen. Or they funnel him through the system for year after year after year, giving them money, 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 money. You can have a 20 year career being a backup <laughs> as a white guy. Nobody says a word. How much money did he make as a backup? Mm. It's a reason why Kirk Cousins is like, it made some of the, in, in the top five of the most money being made in NFL history. Think about that. I ain't hating on Kirk, but it's, it, think about the New York Giants paying Daniel Jones, but not paying Saquon Barkley. That's just, that's a normal thing. Normal, normal thing. So when he's talking about this entertainment thing, you remember, that's the same Terrence Howard that was doing Iron Man in the beginning. He got paid more than Robert Downey Jr. And then they got rid of his ass because they wanted him, because they didn't want him to uh, make as much money as he was making. And they got Don Cheadle to, to make money for less. Same thing when you talk about, when he's talking about agents. I'm not even in Hollywood and I know that these agents notoriously overpay white people and underpay black people. We want to, we want to skip over that, but you remember that whole Netflix situation with Monique and it was it Amy Schumer, you know, she gets, gets, get paid the same amount as Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. Cause they got the same agent, but somehow Monique can't, Oh, it's about women. No, it's not. No, it's not. Viola Davis was talking about the same thing. How, you know, her career is comparable to Barbara Streisand, but she don't make a tenth of the money that these other people do. That's what that is. And then people go, oh, it's about a ticket sales. Bush, bush. You can think about that in the music industry. You had all these white artists who didn't sell as many records, 
who didn't have as many hits, who, you know, who, who, who didn't write songs half of the time, but somehow made more money than the black artists, even if they were covering their song. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, somehow, and the white people go, "Oh no," and you know, thus the the what partially makes the Jewish stereotype of, "Oh, okay, I'm, I'm looking out for you, my friend." No, you're not. You screwing me over, but it's for your profit. You know, <laughs> he talking about he was talking about Fox. I remember as a as a young as a teenager, you know how how underfunded Martin was, and how underfunded uh, the Jamie Foxx show was, and how underfunded the Wayans Brothers show was, and how underfunded Parenthood was, and how underfunded In the House was, and how underfunded Living Single was. I can keep going. You get what I'm saying? The budgets were so, uh, but oh, let's get rid of them. You know, but the shows were hits. Shows were hits, but they didn't want to pay people. And then when you see, dang, friends made a million dollars. So what? How did how did that happen? Oh, they stuck together. Now, yeah, they stuck together, but they stuck together, and they was white. Somehow they was gonna figure out a way to pay them. You get what I'm saying? So <clears throat> with us, it's Moneyball. <laughs> now some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of y'all work jobs where you might have been working overtime and your coworker that's white makes more money than you. And they're just doing 40. And people, oh, that's not true. And and and, and even and if you know how to budget your money well and you know how to spend your money well, it, it's it was always that notorious thing of, hey dog, don't let people know where you live and how you live and where you stay and what you got. Cause I promise you, if 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 they find out even even when you underpaying them that you're doing just as good as them, oh my God, they might fire you. They oh they that that was the original cancel culture, by the way. You know, that nigga got money. Oh, we gotta get rid of him. You know, that, that was cancel culture. You know, watch Rosewood, <laughs> Rosewood. Um, so this is normal, normal behavior. And then when you look at the numbers, like, yo, I'm doing these numbers and they, and they doing these numbers and they getting paid this and I'm getting paid this. What's going on? Oh, oh you're being ungrateful. No, no. There, there was an old clip of um, DMX. Uh, DMX was doing, was shooting a video and cause Nelly got got like this. So DMX shot the video, they paid for the video. And after the video was over, um, the producer or director or whatever, he was trying to pack up stuff and go. And he's like, where you going with that? And he's like, oh, I'm taking this with me. He's like, no, you're not. DMX like, no, I'll pay for that. That's my stuff. It's not your stuff. But, but <clears throat> for years, these white music producers, uh, video music producers, you know, the guys, the budget would be a million dollars. They pay a million dollars for the video. So they get everything in the video they pay for. And the white guys just take take it home. And that's why I said Nelly got got like that because he wound up running into this producer lady. He's like, that's my, that's what I, wait a minute. That's from my video shoot. What, what is this doing at you, with you? What is this doing at your house? What, what hold up now? Notorious. Notorious for this. So when people think about how, how people have profited, think about the movies that were made you know what was that movie with Jamie Fox when just that came out a year ago, two years ago, when he was the attorney, um, and 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 they won the case against the 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 um, funeral corporation for taking advantage of black people at their most vulnerable states and overcharging them, price gouging them. Hey man, that's normal. That's how they make profits. And it's just when people come to this country and, you know, immigrants come to this country, they will go to black neighborhoods and overcharge us for shit. And go, oh, it's the American way. So it, this country has a history of you profiting by underpaying us and overcharging us. So I'm going to leave it at that. You tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna take you.